Today we're going to be opening two brand new Holiday Edition PokéRev Mega Bonus Packs. The Holiday Edition contains the brand new Rainbow Tier, where you can get all four tiers plus two Sword and Shield or Scarlet and Violet era packs. Will these packs bring us holiday cheer, or are we going to get roasted like a chestnut by an open fire? This is Lizard Bros. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the LZ. Today we got the Pokey Rev Mega Bonus Pack Holiday Edition. Scored two of these. He dropped them, I don't know, like a week ago or so on his Instagram. I think uh, my brother told me about it. So I went over there, grabbed a couple. I honestly almost passed on them. They were $55 a piece. We all know this is kind of gambling at this point. Um, unless you get something from the silver or gold tier, it's really not worth it. But it is what it is. I thought I would give it one more shot. It's probably going to be my last time doing the Pokey Rev ones. I do like the Danny Phantom ones though, just because they're, in my opinion, a better price. Because um, you get like seven packs for $28, I think, versus, you know, five plus one for 55 At least for the holiday edition. That being said, with this newest edition, um, as I probably said in the intro, this one does have the rainbow tier to it. So you have a chance at getting um, all four tiers, which is pretty cool. Um, I mean, seated one in a hundred. I don't know the math on that. Some Scott Steiner stuff there. But uh, yeah, could get one of each tier, which would be really cool. Let's be honest, it's probably not happening in this video, but I'm sure some lucky dude or dudette out there is going to get it. Anyways enough talking let's get to ripping see what we got in this first uh, mega bonus pack I always want to say mystery but whatever I'll try to open it away from the camera and for myself so I don't see what the actual other pack is um, all right let's see what we got here for our first pack selection crown zenith decent lost origin Pokemon go I could care less about that to be honest uh, Silver Tempest and Paldea Evolved. We're just going to go straight in order. Um, actually, before I get into that, huge shout out to Evansville Toys and Games, um, one of the local places that I visit back home. I'm not sponsored by any means, but I just wanted to give those guys a shout out. Uh, I will link their Facebook page. Um, if you're in the Evansville or Southern Indiana, Southern Illinois area, please go check out uh, their store. Awesome. Relive some childhood memories. See some toys you played with as a kid. Great, great store even better people who work there so especially Daniel the owner phenomenal human being all right here we go first pack crown zenith made up enough time uh, in that intro uh, didn't mean to make it go that long but um, it is what it is I will do the card trick for these just to, to slow roll to see what we can get um, I may not do it the whole video but start off with I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do it Crown Zenith. Uh, Crown Zenith has been super available uh, lately. I don't know if you guys have picked any up for like Black Friday or anything like that, but uh, very, very um, obtainable right now um, at a really good price too. Energy Retrieval, it, Radiant Eternatus, nah, whatever. And a Scizor Non-Hollow. Yeah, I actually picked up a case of ETBs here not too long ago uh, for uh, pretty cheap. Uh, wish I kind of would have waited a, a, an extra couple weeks because uh, Black Friday deals came out and they were actually uh, pretty pretty solid um, as far as uh, the price point on them. I mean, I've been seeing them for like 370 for a case or something like that. So that's you're not going to find much better. I think I grabbed the Silver Tempest. This might be Lost Order. I can't, I can't remember. Either way, whatever. Yeah, so, you know, Pokey Rev Mystery Packs. I said after the last one I wasn't going to do any more of these just because it's it's not really worth it. Um, just because they're expensive. You're not guaranteed, you know, obviously the hit uh, or, you know, chase pack. If you get a green tier, you know, essentially you're getting six Sword and Shield and or Scarlet and Violet packs for $55 or $50 if you get the original packs. Struggling with this one. Um, yeah, it's it just financially you're better off probably just to buy a vintage pack. Um, it's gambling. 
If you're cool with it, I'm cool with it. It is what it is. Pokemon Go, not one of my favorite sets, that's for sure. Um, yeah, pretty much uh, like Mew Alt Art or nothing. And we get a Dragonite V. Nothing crazy there. All right, Silver Tempest. I do like it that you know that you get the the mystery, or I guess, or the opportunity to try to pull a, a vintage pack. Um, the the thought and the idea of it, like I can, I definitely get behind. Uh, but as far as like, you know, I, I've I've just had no luck. The best tier I pull is a red, um, which is probably pretty average to be honest. But uh, I'm gonna armadillo out of that silver tempest pack. Nothing too wild there. Last uh, standard pack in this set. Come on, let's, let's pull an Iono. Make make this video worth it. Um, but yeah. Either way, oh yeah, forget we're Scarlet and Violet. I don't need to do the, the code card trick. Just can go straight in. Wingle. Spider. Simeon. Anything? Nope. Slacking hollow all right time to see what our first color is i'm gonna guess green just because it's probably what it is and it's a green shocker be something that i can at least pull something good out of what we got scarlet and violet base you know, at least throw like, you know, an Evolving Skies or something like that in there. I mean, at least there's a hope for a big time pool. You know, Scarlet and Violet, the most expensive card in the set is the the Miriam, which is like, I think around 30 bucks, you know. Um, and anyways, that's, that's why these just, in my opinion, I'm not knocking them by any means, just my opinion that financially they're really not worth it i mean you're better off just to go out and buy either one the cards that you want or two just buy the vintage pack that you're hoping to get i mean yeah sure i know most people aren't going to be able to go out and probably spend three four hundred dollars maybe five hundred dollars on a base set pack but to be honest like you could probably get a light play base set charizard for like the same price like 400 bucks you do what you want i mean i'm just Mathematically and financially speaking, it just doesn't really seem worth it. And an Armor Rouge non-hollow. Alright, first one out of the way. Kind of what I expected. Um, on to the next one. See what we get. Try to not peek. <laughs> I don't have Erin in here today looking at the floor, so she's not, she's not peeking on me. <laughs> Alright. Next packs, what do we got? Brilliant Stars, Lost Origin, Fusion Strike, Silver Tempest, Paldea Evolved. All right, so pretty much the same uh, pack selection as the last one. Just hoping for something better than a than a green code card. The last time I opened these, I did pull an Alt Art, uh, I think Skunk Tank, and um, a Full Art Vaporeon. So I at least got a couple pulls. Uh, out of my last ones, but see what we got in this one. Brilliant Stars. Alt Art Charizard would be pretty nice. We'll take a non hollow Magmortar instead. Alright, Lost Org. I don't know if you guys cashed in, so it's Sunday after Black Friday here as of the recording of this video. Um, but, uh, I don't know if you guys scored any like solid Black Friday deals. I know my brother Derek uh, bought a bunch of stuff from like Family Dollar. It was like buy one get one free over any any Pokemon product or card trading card game over over five dollars. So he went and bought a bunch of those. Um, didn't really pull anything, but um, still a solid deal. So um, the best deal I got, I think, was a case of Scarlet and Violet Paradox Rift ETBs for two seventy. Free shipping, no tax. I mean, that's half price at retail. So, solid deal there. Um, was not mad at that. Dustox non hollow. All right. 
Dragonite V is, is all we've gotten so far. Be nice to get at least a pool. But. Shit in one hand, wish in the other, or however that saying goes. Yeah. See which one fills up faster. I skipped a couple cards there. Whatever. Mankey, Plauncher, Growlithe, Stuffle, that dude, Quick Ball Reverse, and a non hollow pile of sand. Whew. Getting roasted out here. <laughs> Silver Tempest. Again, that's that's why I said uh, you know, it is it's straight gambling, guys. Straight gambling. If you don't know that, it's exactly what it is. I mean, you are literally rolling the dice, hoping for a vintage pack. Um, you know, the red X and Y Sun and Moon. I'm trying to think. Probably the most expensive pack. I guess Flash Fire from X and Y. Um, probably Team Up from Sun and Moon, but. You know, you can get. I think you can get a team up pack for around forty bucks, maybe a little more. Um, Flash fire. I'm not a hundred percent on that. Probably maybe sixty. Could be wrong on that one. I'd, I'd have to look. But point being, I mean, you, if you want the vintage pack and that's what you're hoping for, I mean, I say vintage. I mean that those aren't really vintage. But we got here gold. A gold Lugia V Star. Okay, that's a that's a solid pull. One of the best cards in the set, uh, in my opinion. Uh, still very playable. Um, I, I will take that. I, I will take a gold Lugia, uh, Lugia V Star. Solid. We got something. We got a little something. I don't know the price point on that card. I, I'll throw it up on the screen. But if I had to guess, I'm gonna assume it's probably around the 15 to 20 dollar range. Maybe a little less now. I don't. I don't know. That's the last I looked. That's around what it was. Pal Day evolved. All right. Get out of here. Come on. Give us that Iona. Or I know. Oh no. Combi. Glimit. I skipped a card. It's the Viper, Tauros, Luxio, Mistrevious, nope, Magnum, Magnemite, can't talk, and, what was that, Celerouge, oh my god, I totally spaced on that one, alright, last pack, here we go, see what color we get, again, uh, I'm hoping for anything other than green, but, I won't be surprised if it's a green. And what do we got? A green! Whoop de doo! <laughs> uh, it, it's frustrating, but you kind of know that it's coming. You know, um, don't be darkness, a blazer, rebel clash. Obsidian flame, I'll take it. At least got a shot at a Charizard, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, prime example. Uh, uh, this will probably be the last time I buy the Poke Rev ones. Um, you know, I thought, okay, well, I'll go for the rainbow uh, tier, you know, one time. Uh, obviously not, you know, when it's 1 in 100 and I'm only buying two packs, obviously my odds are not great. But, um, you know, I, personally, Danny Phantoms, I think, are better, better value for sure, hands down. And you can still get vintage packs in his, so the odds may not be as good, but it is what it is. Bunnelby... No Zard, at least there, not the SAR or SIR, and a Gita non hollow. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Quick, down, and dirty. Only got one pull. Again, you be the judge on what you want to do with your finances. If you think they're good, get them. If not, buy the vintage patch pack on your own. I hope you keep on keeping on, and the next time you want to get juiced, come back to Lazard Bros. Peace.